Graffiti is older than most people realize. Did you know the first drawings were made on cave walls thousands of years ago? This then evolved into graffiti drawings during ancient civilizations, such as the Romans and the Greeks, who would see people writing their names on buildings and inside monuments. Some of it has been preserved to this day. From ancient Romans and Greeks to the Egyptian ruins, you would find amazing graffiti carved into stones of the caves to the stone buildings of their homes to monuments. It documented the real life of the people who engaged in it, showing their problems and their sense of humor, much the way it does to this day. Here are the interesting ancient graffiti you would find today. What's this then? Romanes Dumbass. Number 10. Wild Animals These drawings made on the walls of the great enclosure of Mazawarat es Sufra are over 2,000 years old. The great enclosure is located in Sudan. But at the time when this graffiti came into be, it was part of the Kingdom of Kush. The great enclosure resembles a labyrinth in the way it was built and is full of rooms that archaeologists don't know the purpose of. However, there are speculations about the use of graffiti in order to identify each room and what it was used for. This graffiti picturing various animals such as baboons, dogs, rhinoceroses, elephants, and crocodiles portrays more than just what is seen on the surface. Some of the animals are seen holding religious iconography. The lion with wings, pictured above, is likely the ancient deity Apademak. Number 9. Word Square Found in the basement of a Roman basilica, this word square was an interesting finding when archaeologists discovered it in 2003. This graffiti is located in modern-day Turkey, but at the time of it being made, it was in the ancient city of Smyrna, Greece. Made out of five words, each five letters in length, this just might be the first known example of a word game graffiti. All the words written in Greek can be read the same way both vertically and horizontally. Archaeologists believe this word square was made sometime after an earthquake that took place in 177 CE. Number 8. Lupinar The Lupinar is a building located near the intersection of Vico del Lupinar and Vico del Balcon Pensil. It's one of the landmarks in the ruins of Pompeii in Campania, Italy, close to the base of Mount Vesuvius. It was estimated to be 0 to 79 CE graffiti. This specific location was home to a lot of social interaction, according to archaeologists. The Lumpinar was a popular social hub. Its walls are scribbled with graffiti, including sports advertisements, colloquial messages, and political propaganda. There are also paintings, some erotic in nature, as well as other examples of day-to-day -day life. Number 7. Saksus's Love Triangle Pompeii, once a vibrant and thriving resort town in Italy, was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. However, the ancient ruins still hold hundreds if not thousands of examples of graffiti. A true testament to the life locals lived back in those days, the messages are not always limited to something hugely meaningful. Sometimes they are simple declarations of love, but they're not always as wholesome as one might imagine. Painted on the wall of Pompeian Pub is a conversation between two men, both vying for the attention of a local girl named Iris. A total of three messages are exchanged. In the first one, Severus calls out Successus, stating that Successus loves Iris, but she does not return his affections. Severus calls himself the rival of Successus. Promptly, Successus replies, calling Severus envious and less handsome than he is. Severus remains unprovoked and once again states that Iris does not love Successus, ending the exchange. Number 6. The Forgiveness of Al Juan. Arabic graffiti is present in many parts of the world. While many Arabic graffitis are inconsequential and talk about day-to-day -day life, there are also engravings and paintings of deeper nature peppered with philosophical or religious messages. The rock pictured here contains a message of the latter kind. It's nothing short of a religious plea. It shows a man by the name of al Jawan, or someone close to him begging for mercy for his sins. The inscription reads, O oh God, make forgiveness towards Al Jawan, and have mercy on him. Number 5. Aphrodisian Gladiators The small Greek Hellenistic city of Aphrodisias has many examples of ancient graffiti, located close to the modern city of Anatolia, Turkey. Aphrodisias was named after the Greek goddess of love Aphrodite. A lot of the graffiti found on Aphrodisian walls is rather simple. 
This picture portrays a childlike drawing of a gladiator. There are similar examples that show local entertainers, animals, or religious symbols all around the area. Number 4. The inscription will remain. Another highly interesting form of graffiti from Jordan is this piece of Arabic writing. Poetic in its nature, it makes the reader contemplate the meaning of graffiti and how lasting these ancient pieces of art have proven to be. The inscription was written by someone called Musa, son of Imran. His wish was that his graffiti in Palmyra would still be seen by people hundreds or thousands of years into the future. At the time of writing it, Musa already dreamed of the archaeologist who unveiled his graffiti. The ancient text reads, This is an inscription that I wrote with my own hand. My hand will wear out, but the inscription will remain. Number 3. The Disgruntled Tourist We all know the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, famous for its mind-blowing tombs and pyramids. It is the location of some of humanity's greatest monuments. Unfortunately, these testaments to human achievement are vandalized from time to time. What may come as a surprise is that vandalism was common even in ancient times. The proof of that lies in the tomb of Pharaoh Ramses VI. Archaeologists found over 1,000 inscriptions made by tourists, carved and painted on the walls of the tomb. One that stood out was a declaration made by a tourist who was displeased with their trip. The tourist wrote, I visited and did not like anything except for the sarcophagus. Number 2. The Competing Pyramid Gangs Building the famous pyramids in Giza was a grueling process that took a lot of hard work. Tens of thousands of Egyptians contributed to the building of these massive monuments. Some of the workers left behind graffiti, allowing archaeologists and historians to learn more about the politics involved in the building. Some of the inscriptions on the pyramids read Drunks of Mekare and Friends of Khufu Gang. Both Menkare and Khufu were Egyptian kings who ordered the creation of the pyramids. It appears that the gangs competed against each other. Some pyramids have inscriptions from both, one on each side. Number 1. House of Maius Castricius This beautifully preserved graffiti shows that leaving messages on the walls of houses was not limited to public buildings. Thanks to the efforts of archaeologists, the House of Maius Castricius contains some of the highest quality ancient graffiti in the world. The walls of the house are filled with examples of ancient poetry written in Latin. These poems may seem untidy at first, but they are usually arranged vertically and do not intrude upon the space of other poems. Some inscriptions consist of both writing and images. This photo shows the staircase of the house of Maius Castricius, containing some of the poetry found in the ancient site. Ancient graffiti is a fascinating and often overlooked aspect of history. It provides a glimpse into the daily lives, thoughts, and opinions of people who lived in the past. From political statements to personal declarations of love, ancient graffiti offers a unique window into the past. These inscriptions, carvings, and drawings can be found in a variety of locations, including tombs, temples, and public spaces. And they reveal a great deal about the social, political, and cultural context of the time. It is important to study and preserve these ancient markings as they provide valuable insights into the past and help to bring history to life. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about the world's 10 most amazing ancient cities still standing on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.